What does this lawsuit do for the consumer? What's uh, the good thing? All this then a reminder that you are in control of what you are trying to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you are, you are not hostage to whatever existing agreements happens to be. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sell the negotiate. house. Mm -hmm. But I don't have room to pay that 6%, 5% commission structure. Mm -hmm. Here's what I can do because I do need the help. I want the marketing to be done. I want communications mm -hmm. to be handled. I don't want to be taking every single file. I, but I can only offer you 3%. I don't know what you're going to offer to the other person. You work it out, with however. It that's not unusual. As a matter of fact, there are companies that that's their business model. They will only take 1% so that I can get the listing so you can let me sell the house. And I'm going to offer him 2%. So he absolutely is going to make more than me, but he's bringing a buyer. Now, mm -hmm. if I bring the buyer, I get the whole 3%. Mm -hmm. Right. But, but, I'm, but I'm not going to limit it just to myself. I'm absolutely putting... There are companies right. that that's their business model to get more people. So, 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 so other than reminding people that you should be able to negotiate uh, some of these things, I don't know that it's going so to have So for the a consumer, it's just a reminder that you have more control. thousand percent. What does this lawsuit do for the industry? In general, if, if this brings uh, excessive regulations, if the commissions become regulated to the extent that... Now you turn around and you said, you know what, half a million dollars, fifteen thousand dollar commission. Uh, forget about sixteen. Six percent of is thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. And now somebody says, well, uh, even though the marketplace has been dictating those prices, right? Now we're gonna say that's too much money for you to earn. Mm -hmm. Now you're messing with with the whole capitalism system and the whole mm -hmm. is supply and demand. It's your ability Correct. to negotiate. And then you can say, well, but you have so many people that are not sophisticated enough to be able to negotiate those things. Well, how about the best thing you can do is to remind people that you are in control, that you mm -hmm. should be able to sit down with a realtor. You come in to say, I, I want to sell your house. Yeah. And I said, all right, it's a million dollars. That means $60,000 in, in, in commissions. I'm not willing to give you $60,000. Here's what I'll do, Alexi. I'm willing to give you $30,000. Mm -hmm. And that commission. Uh, you can think of that in terms of percentages, yeah. or you can think of that in terms of real money going into <laughs> your bank account, gotcha. however you want to see it. Yeah. You decide what you want to give the other guy. Mm -hmm. You work it out. Because systems should be able to... Yeah. So, so a little bit more of education, a little more, more... Now, realtors be aware. Yeah. Because this is not a good signal That's for the market in the that. sense that you know, you can very easily go, a lot of wealth has been created through real estate, mm -hmm. and a lot of wealth has been created for realtors, you know what I mean? They work the market, they work it very well. I know phenomenal people that have been part of the industry that do a, an incredible job. They're just, they're just really dedicated to what they do. They're very loyal to They follow every single uh, component of the law. They represent people properly. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, those, there are guys that really earn their money. You know yeah. what I mean? It, 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 this is not... You're not selling 20 houses, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is, you know, one, two, maybe three per month, you know what I mean, and making some money. Uh, so this this can become a situation where if it's excessively regulated, you can go from making that $30,000, $15,000 commission to now you're going to get $1,500. So, so for the real that will, that will redo got... well the, 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 the industry itself couldn't have the ability to support the many realtors that you have in the market right now so mm -hmm. you will have no choice but if it's going to be no different than just like having any other job yeah. why would i be driving around why would Correct. i be dealing with people why would i have you in my car while i'm driving yeah. around with the, why would i be dealing with the aggravation and running the risk that i don't even get paid that month you know what i mean because it's a lot of liabilities. It's a one-sided story, and I don't like it. When, I don't like when it does that because what it does is it's attacking a, a, a free market system. You know what I mean? That, and I don't like when it does that. So I feel for, for realtors right now, they're going to get a little bit of a black eye. I feel bad for them. I feel bad for them because, and this can put a lot of people, listen, as it is, the market is already driving a lot of people out of the market, yeah. mm -hmm. which, which again, see, when the market is doing that, it's not a bad thing because it's, it's cleaning up the people that... They went to get a license just to speculate about maybe I can make a lot of money. No, this is difficult. To the people that have been here for 20, 30 years right. doing real estate, and those guys are going to continue to do up until the point that they get to retirement. Like I said, there's some good people out there. And this, this, but this is not 
Uh, hopefully, it's not a president that, that will be extended to the rest of the country. And I don't think that that would be a successful lawsuit in the state of Florida, hmm. to be quite honest with you. I think that has yeah. to do with the states over there. But uh, mm -hmm. anyway, most realtors, I will tell you this, and this will be a recommendation for, for realtors. Most realtors live in a bubble because mostly they are getting information and connecting to what's going on in, in outside in the marketplace, the industry, through their own sources. Mm. And somewhere, somehow, is always providing uh, um, extremely filter information that doesn't necessarily give them a, a, an accurate perspective of what's going on in the industry, the marketplace. There's a lot of people that can be very, a lot of real <clears throat> just based on a lot of bad publicity, can be in a position where, uh, don't be surprised if you walk into somebody's home and you're going into a very hostile conversation. Mm -hmm. So just prepare yourself to how will you deal with that kind of objection? Uh, are you ready to negotiate? Do, are you working with a broker that would allow you mm -hmm. to say, listen, if worst case scenario, there's a good deal, good people, you know that we can make it happen. I'm okay to figure, because you still got to get the green light from the broker who's telling the agent that it's okay mm -hmm. to, to negotiate. So it, it just adds a, a lot more. To, to the process and the conversation. You know? yeah. Realtor I, slash lawyer. No, no, right? Yeah. I, think, I think for me, the biggest thing that um, I'm taking from this whole conversation is you want to think about yourself as a business owner if you're going to go into entrepreneurship. Yep. And I think what a lot of realtors, where they make the mistake, is they can get away with looking like a business owner, Correct. but not actually be business owners. You Correct. know, So if you're by yourself, you don't have a team, you're an independent person, and you just trying to figure out a way to sell one or two houses, you know, mm -hmm. that's not a real business. You know, And I think those are going to be the people who are going to take the biggest hit well, from this. Most of them will, will stay as independent contractors, and they do believe that I'm a business owner. Yeah. You, you're not. You're just an independent <laughs> correct, contractor. Correct. Yeah. And, you know, you're, 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 you, can, you, yes. can, you can have a broker qualified as a business owner mm -hmm. who set up his own realty facility, yeah. real estate company, yeah. and, and that guy is operating yeah. as a business and I, owner. And I think what's going to happen, if this keeps going this direction, it's only going to be those brokers and business mm -hmm. owners who are going to survive. Everybody else, you're going to turn into an employee. Where right. you, you're going to really not feel like an entrepreneur as a real estate agent. No, you're going to get a job where you're mm -hmm. going to get paid mm -hmm. hourly to drive people around. And if you're lucky, you get a commission at that and point. What they were saying <laughs> is that artificial <laughs> intelligence was going to be able to replace all of that. With that being said, listen, uh, I'm dying to hear your perspective about how any of these things can actually affect you. Yes. Uh, you know, if you like the information, like, share it, pause it around. Uh, subscribe. Subscribe to the Find channel. Find that out in the comments. Get a few more friends to, to come on board. Yes, yes. And we look forward to seeing you in our next conversation. There Thank you. you. Peace out. Peace.